Elastic Net Estimation, or ENET, has become a mainstay of machine learning in econometrics over the past few years. eViews 12 has enhanced its ENET offering by introducing new features to expand its utility. Lasso Selection uses the ENET engine to perform variable selection in a regression. Find out more in a separate video about Lasso Selection. Observation weights apply the eViews estimation weighting scheme to elastic net estimation, providing the option of variance or standard deviation based weighting to the observations used. Meanwhile, variable weights allow for different lambda penalties for each variation in the estimation. In practice, variable weights can be thought of as non negative numbers that multiply the lambda penalty, resulting in a different penalty for each coefficient. Interesting implications arrive if any of the multiplying factors are zero. Those variables are not reduced. In the case of lasso estimation, this can be thought of as a way of ensuring a variable's coefficient is not reduced to zero, preventing that variable from being removed. To explore this further, we'll use data from Statistical Learning with Sparsity by Trevor Hasty, Robert Tipsharani, and Martin Wainwright. The dataset consists of six variables, with the dependent variable being the total overall reported crime rate per 1 million residents in 50 cities in the U.S. The independent variables are annual police funding in dollars per resident, percent of people 25 and older with four years of high school, percent of 16 to 19-year-olds not in high school and not high school graduates, percent of 18 to 24 year olds in college and percent of people 25 years and older with at least four years of college. To begin, we'll estimate the standard lasso equation without variable weights. We click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and then change the estimation method to Elastic Net. We change the penalty type to lasso and leave lambda blank to instruct eViews to find the best lambda through cross-validation. Entering our variables and then clicking OK produces the standard ENET results. Notice how three of our variables, including college, have had their coefficients reduced to zero. We'll freeze these results into a table to keep for comparison. If we feel that college is an important variable and wish to prevent shrinkage of its coefficient, we can set its variable weight to zero using the at VW keyboard in the equation specification. Note that the coefficient of college has no longer been reduced to zero. Another extremely useful addition to ENET estimation is the introduction of time series based cross validation. Rolling window and expanding window methods ensure that time series structure of underlying data is kept during the selection of observations in the training and test sets of cross-validation. To demonstrate, we'll switch our equation to a ridge regression rather than lasso by clicking on the Estimate button to bring up the estimation dialog again. We will use the default k-fold cross-validation. Note, although our data are not time series, we can still use these methods to show potential differences. We'll take a copy of our equation by clicking on Object, Copy Object, and with our new equation, we'll use the Estimate button to bring up the options and change the cross-validation method to one of the new methods, Rolling. We can see that the selected lambda has changed dramatically between the two estimates, resulting in slightly different coefficient estimates including a sign change on the college coefficient. Lastly, the new post-estimation training test diagnostics offered in eViews 12 for elastic net estimation include training and test sets tables. They provide a quick way to determine which observations were included in each of the training or test sets used during cross-validation determination of lambda. We can view them by clicking on View, Diagnostics, and then selecting either Training or Test Sets Table. We'll choose the Training Set. The size of the resulting table will depend on the type of cross-validation that we perform. For our first equation, 
estimated using k-fold cross-validation with five folds, each of the five training sets will have 40 randomly selected observations in it. We can see the first set has observations 26, 50, 22, 20, etc. The second equation, estimated with a rolling window, has a deterministic set of observations in each set, with the start point and the end point of the sets increasing by one throughout the sets. This concludes our demonstration of elastic net estimation. For the complete list of our online tutorials, visit eviews.com.